What is hue, saturation, and lightness? Hue is what color. Saturation is how much color. And lightness is brightness of color. Now, let's bring up the hue and saturation. Let's go to adjustment layer and click on hue and saturation. Now, this is the best way of having the hue and saturation because we have a separated layer. There's another way. You can go, let's select this one. Let's go to image, adjustment, and hue and saturation. The problem with this method is any change that we do to this image is going to be affected and we cannot change it later. So I'm going to cancel this. So now we have a separated layer. What I said is hue is what color? Let me show you here. Let's be here. This is hue, this is saturation, and this is lightness. I'm just going to double click here and I'm just going to bring this down so you guys can see exactly what I mean. Look, just take a look at this rectangle part. We have a hue, saturation, and brightness. If I drag this up and let me just put this here and just take a look at this color and it's changing. I'm dragging up this slider and see the color is gradually going up and see if I stay here each color has an exact number this hue is 227 if I come down the number is changing so the hue is changing the color is changing so each color has a number so hue is what is the color and the color has a number the saturation is how much color now take a look at here the blue is gradually adding to our image and the top one is high saturated and how much color is saturation what is brightness take a look from black we are adding light to the blue and we have this totally white and bright color of blue so hue i can change it saturation how much color and brightness how bright is the color should be and when i mean hue the cool thing is i can change the saturation if i go left the saturation is zero just take a look at here and if i'm going to right the saturation 100 percent and for the brightness i'm going up and down if i go up the brightness 100 percent if i go down the brightness is zero and if i come right the saturation 100 percent left zero right 100 percent just take a look at here it's like game now the saturation in saturation if i go left to right i can change the hue if i go up and down i can change the brightness if i come to brightness and left to right let me change the brightness of the color left to right is changing the hue the saturation up and down but most of the time we are here so we play just with the hue we always on the hue so i'm changing the color i choose my color now i can tell it to be this kind of saturated and the brightness up and down maybe i'm looking for this color so this is how we find the color now let me press ok because i don't need it anymore now let me explain this property the hue and saturation property let me go to new image now let's go to adjustment layer and bring up the hue and saturation and this panel is going to be up here hue saturation and lightness with the saturation i can change it I can drag it to the right and see the problem with increasing the saturation is is going to increase every single pixel in our image that's the problem and i can reset it with this little icon here so i don't want to increase it that much maybe a bit like this most of the time why we use hue and saturation because we want to change a color that's why we use it so let me show you how there's a little hand here if i click on this little hand let me maybe we want to change this red pepper right let me click on it if you click on it it's just going to be red by default was master but when i clicked on it and just picked a color let me go back again 
let me just pick a, pick this handle of hand and just I'm just gonna click here and it's just gonna be red it's just gonna be recognized by the program and just take a look at this bar the top bar is showing me you selected the red and the bottom line is just gonna be what color you want to change it to so let me change see the color here is changing it to yellow and to maybe maybe purple is nice look the bottom is purple or let me show it maybe blue is going to be nicer but the problem is is affecting everywhere there's a lot of wear that is affecting look there is a handle here there is two handles with these two little handles i can control which parts so let me show you again let me reset it we just want to selecting this little color so maybe it's just going to be affected here and also here how we can select it reset let's go to this little hand and let me just click on this red color now drag the hue to the right drag the saturation to the right right now just take take a look at these parts i'm just going to move around until this is going to be selected only this is going to be selected so i'm just going to go around maybe here now i can play around with these little things and connect it to it closer and close maybe this so this is going to be only selected look and with this little inside i can increase it gradually it's not going to be that sharp it's like a feather i can increase it with this little feather let's go back still this part yeah and this is cool still we can work on it let me just bring back the saturation to zero and now we can play around with the hue and easily the red color is changing to purple or to any color so just we have a problem here in this part right now you can increase these little things you can play around with this until you get something cool so it's not this one is this part let me just play around with it. So I'm playing it gradually to adding this part. Look, actually it's very easy. I mean, it's going to be like this. Now I'm changing it. I'm changing the color. If you see the color is affecting somewhere because of the light reflection, you can just, because we have a mask here, and press D on your keyboard so this is going to be default if you press D or you make this black and this is white press B on your keyboard for brush tool and this is white now you can mask it out you can mask these areas as well to be more clean the area that is affected and let's go back here and just take a look and what was this one uh, because I used mask let me just disable the mask this is a cool part here when you're going out and you're going back on this the master is going to be selected if let me just press command and control z two three times if you want to go back to the setting that you have changed you have to select this and you have to go to red now the default is changing and you can change this as well so that was a trick if i go back here and again click on hue and saturation so this is a very cool tip guys and nobody knows actually and nobody knows how to handle if I go and select another layer and I'm coming back to my hue and saturation by default is master is selected so you shouldn't change anything click on the master and go to red channel because we changed the red channel and it's going to be remembered our setting now I can change anything cool so that was the tip. What else we can learn here? 
never ever i'm just gonna reset it never ever play around with oh let me not reset it for now let me go back to red i'm not gonna reset it because we had this letter selection i'm just gonna choose something okay never play with lightness in master so in master you shouldn't change anything so everything should be messy here so always the lightness in master mode should be on zero if i go to red channel or any other channels now i can play with lightness just take a look i can make this darker or i can make it totally white and how cool is that this is how we create a snow in our image this is how we create a lot of snowy stuff in artworks and a lot of programs you know like matte painting and other stuff so the lightness should be on a channel and sometimes it's cool to have this kind of color and I can increase a bit of size maybe even less you can play around with the color and like just take a look at it how beautiful is that so that's why the lightness in inside the master is very powerful and we use it a lot for changing a lot of stuff to different colors now you have these files we use hue and saturation a lot make sure you get really really good at it and then go to the next lesson